Hey, if it were easy, everyone would have one. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today, we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 best actresses who never won an Oscar. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be breaking down the best actresses, current and former, that have never won an Academy Award. Number 10, Naomi Watts. I'm inquiring about an accident that happened last night on Mulholland Drive. Despite making her big screen debut in 1986, Naomi Watts didn't make much of a splash until her appearance in 2001's Mulholland Drive. Since then, she's worked with everyone from Peter Jackson to Clint Eastwood, but has yet to land that all-elusive Oscar. Maybe, Maybe what I can do is gonna bring them back. Don't get us wrong. She's been recognized for her work before, having been nominated for her performances in 21 Grams and The Impossible, respectively. But if we're being honest, she was a long shot in both years, losing out to Charlize Theron in 2003 and Jennifer Lawrence in 2012. With that being said, there's still plenty of time for the British native to win her first Academy Award. I don't know. Number 9, Angela Bassett. Who dis? What kind of way is that to answer the phone? With roles in a slew of 90s classics, such as Boys in the Hood, Malcolm X, and What's Love Got to Do With It, the latter of which earned her first and, to date, only Oscar nomination, Angela Bassett appeared poised for a career littered with trophies. And while she's picked up her fair share of hardware, she's yet to win the big one. Get some sleep, now. Go straight to hell, I. We can't help but wonder if it's because she's been more invested in her TV work of late. We are referring, of course, to her role in the anthology series, American Horror Story. While she's been working for a while, her window for winning Hollywood's top prize is far from closed. While I'm here, could you please not drink inside the house? I know it's your home, but I'm hanging on to my sobriety by my teeth here. Number 8, Amy Adams. This is something you do for a billion years or not at all. Amy Adams is dangerously close to becoming the female version of pre-revenant Leonardo DiCaprio. What we mean by this is that she's been nominated for a slew of Academy Awards and has somehow managed to lose every year. Adams has been nominated five, yes, you heard that correctly, five times. I bet she's prettier than I am too. It started with a stirring performance in 2005's Junebug. From there, she scored nominations for Doubt, The Fighter, the Master, and 2013's American Hustle. In the event that she does manage to win an Oscar, we have a funny feeling it won't just be because she deserves it, but because the Academy owes her one. You're nothing to me until you're everything. Number 7, Winona Ryder. Whatever it may have been, Newland, I can't have my happiness made out of a wrong to somebody else. There's an argument to be made that Winona Ryder is more famous for her non-Oscar nominated performances than for the ones that have gotten her some Academy love. From Heathers and Edward Scissorhands to Girl Interrupted and Stranger Things, Ryder has turned in a boatload of awesome performances throughout her four decades long career. And while she earned nominations for her turns in The Age of Innocence and Little Women, She's still waiting for the day that an Oscar presenter opens an envelope and reads out her name. I want to change, but I, I can't. Number six, Jessica Chastain. I just want to die. Just be with him. After two straight years in which she was nominated for an Academy Award, Jessica Chastain has yet to make it back to cinema's biggest show. Turns in The Tree of Life and The Help catapulted her to the top of the Hollywood A-list. And when she absolutely killed the role of Maya in 2013's Zero Dark Thirty, it appeared she was on the fast track to Oscar glory. But Bin Laden is there. And you're gonna kill him for me. Alas, her turns in the aforementioned films only managed to net her a single Golden Globe Award. Not to worry, Chastain is still starring and crushing major film roles, so the likelihood that she finishes her career with one or more Oscars is still pretty high. They don't hate me. They hate what they think I did. Number five, Helena Bonham Carter. I can't do this anymore. The fact that this actress is still waiting for her first Academy Award is downright bewildering. Helena Bonham Carter has been nominated for seven Golden Globes, five BAFTAs, and two Oscars. Yet, she's only managed to win one, and it wasn't from the Academy. How can that be? I wanted to be as important to him as you were. And, um, I was never going to be. 
Well, the problem with an actress like Bonham Carter is that, similar to Winona Ryder, her non-Oscar performances are the ones that get the most attention. Fight Club, Big Fish, her turn as Bellatrix Lestrange in the Harry Potter films, all of these were great roles, but not exactly Oscar-friendly. However, still in her early 50s, Helena Bonham Carter is nowhere close to finished. You filthy old flat! Number 4. Natalie Wood I've been looking for someone to love me, and now I love somebody. A brilliant actress whose work spanned almost four decades and led to three Academy Award nominations for her work in Rebel Without a Cause, Splendor in the Grass, and Love with a Proper Stranger, the story of Natalie Wood is, at its core, a tragic one. During the filming of the 1983 sci-fi picture Brainstorm, Wood drowned while on a boat trip with her husband and fellow actor Robert Wagner. She was 43. More than 35 years later, the events surrounding her death continue to be shrouded in mystery. I didn't understand. Nothing's changed. Number 3. Annette Benning. I will divorce you so fast it'll make your head spin. At this point, Benning has pretty much won everything there is to win, except for an Academy Award. She's won a BAFTA, a couple of Golden Globes, and two Screen Actors Guild Awards, but no Oscars. Sure, she's been nominated for four, and if we're speaking candidly, should have won the year she was nominated for Best Actress for her role in American Beauty. But for one reason or another, she hasn't been able to get the job done. We hope that she can remedy this sometime in the near future, as we believe that she more than deserves to have an Oscar adorning her mantelpiece. Let's just kill him with kindness and put it to bed. Number 2. Glenn Close Are you going to go to sleep or are you going to stay up and think your weird thoughts? Glenn Close has earned Oscar nominations for her performances in The World According to Garp, The Big Chill, The Natural, Fatal Attraction, Dangerous Liaisons, and Albert Knobs. For those of you who lost count, that's six. Six nominations and no wins. This makes Glenn Close the only living member of the six Academy Award nominations and no wins club as fellow members Deborah Carr and Thelma Ritter passed away years ago. I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. With Close in her early 70s, it appears her chances of winning cinema's ultimate prizes are dwindling. However, if there's one thing Hollywood loves, it's drama. And boy, would it be dramatic to see Close win an Oscar at this stage in her career. Life without decency is unbearable. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Lesson number two, don't get high on your own supply. You don't want to marry me. Get away from her, you bitch! Number one, Judy Garland. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Known best for her performance in The Wizard of Oz, a role that earned her the now defunct Juvenile Academy Award, Garland never did manage to take home cinema's top prize. She scored a couple of nominations in the latter part of her career, for her turns as Esther Blodgett and Irene Hoffman Walner in A Star is Born and Judgment at Nuremberg, respectively, but couldn't come away with a win. Seeing as how she passed away in 1969, the chances of her walking away with an Oscar are unlikely, to say the least. Despite her lack of Academy hardware, Garland remains one of classic cinema's most enduring figures. Out of all the words in the world, just two. Stick in your mind. Thank you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.